I'm Margaret Meyer and I'm here with Rupert Meese, who is a, uh, another clean uh, language trained facilitator. And Rupert, I wanted to ask you, what drew you to clean? Well, it was, um, I trained as an NLP practitioner and as a master practitioner. Um, uh, I loved the, the power of NLP and the, the making sense of somebody's experience through the structure of it. And I suppose I still wasn't entirely happy with uh, with what I'd got at the end of it. Something about needing me to make sense of my client's experience. Um, mm -hmm. And by chance, at an NLP group, I talked. I went to an NLP group where somebody talked about clean, did a presentation on clean, and listening to what people were saying about clean it just made so much sense it was uh, it was like a light bulb going on and uh, I was hearing that clean um, the way clean worked I was hearing that uh, people's the words that people use tie intimately to their inner experience and in a way that no others do and when it's said like that it's so so obvious um, that I couldn't understand why nobody else had been saying this. It was like hearing the stuff that I knew uh, intuitively, you know. Um, and to discover that you could use the, cl the way that a client's words tied to their experience in a way that kept you in touch with that experience um, was just a revelation. It seemed like such an enormous privilege to be able to to use what somebody said to you to share their experience of the the world um, and to do an exploration of somebody's experience to to go places that neither of you had gone before um, and so that was. That was what drew me to clean, where I went, having heard this stuff, that was uh, where I went with it, knowing that I wanted to be involved in that. And it was a, a privilege and a revelation mm. and a light bulb going on. Mm. And when a light bulb going on, is there anything else about that light bulb going on? Yeah, it was that kind of sense of light that kind of came from lighting the path. Um, because I'd been uh, interested in psychotherapy. I was drawn to NLP uh, through an interest in psychotherapy and through that sense of privilege that you can have with sharing somebody else's experience. Um, and NLP was a, a path there, but clean was really a way of knowing how to to work with somebody in that profoundly respectful way that allowed you to to enter into somebody's experience and uh, facilitate them exploring it um, so that light was um, uh, a very clear sense of direction for me knowing that that was where I wanted to go and a light and a very clear sense of direction mm. in terms of knowing where you wanted to go. Mm. And when a very clear sense of direction, mm. what kind of direction is that? It was a very, um, a very solid sense of knowing that, that clean was where I wanted to be involved in. Um, Partly from, I've talked about the, the knowing, the privilege of sharing that experience, the, the knowing that that was how I wanted to work with clients. Mm. Um, but the experience of being modelled in that way as well gives me, and I, you know, I suspect other clean facilitators, that very 
clear sense that what we're doing as clean facilitators is of tremendous value. Mm. Um, there's something about there's something about clean. What what really convinced me to to move over to symbolic modelling from uh, I had practiced as an NLP practitioner for, for a long time. Uh, and what convinced me to, to move over was that NLP practitioners don't seek out other NLP practitioners to work on their issues. And clean people seek out clean facilitation because it works, because it's a beautiful way to, to have somebody alongside while you do the, the exploration and the journeying that's, that's part of life. So, um, I, you know, I think that's probably one of the profoundest differences between NLP and symbolic model. Mm. Yeah. And a clear sense of direction mm. and seek out mm. other clean facilitators. Mm. And is there a relationship between a clear sense of direction and a solid sense of knowing and mm. seek out. Yeah, I think um, you know a lot. A lot of what I'm doing as a facilitator is uh, is mirrored in my own journey. So I'm on a path, on a on a journey of doing that, seeking out, of doing the figuring out what happens when you live life like this and how how it is when you uh, make different kinds of choices or how it is to be who I am, how I am and, um, and what could be different, what what's good the way it is and uh, generally doing that seeking out life and how to how to live it and um, and that I think other people are doing that as well. You know the mm. the uh, you know the clients that I work with uh, are on a similar journey. Um, you know, possibly quite you know quite often uh, triggered by some difficult situation or some place where people find themselves uh, you know hit up against a wall or whatever their their metaphor is. That's often what drives us to. To start doing that seeking out and the, the exploration, but there's some things hugely rewarding about it. You know, once you've once you've got that sense that uh, that you can, there are ways around this wall, or that uh, you know, when you pay attention to whatever that wall is that uh, that stops you, that you discover that there's a way around or a way over. A door that you've not seen before, um, and there's a real excitement in knowing that that's possible, um, and that you can do that discovery in a way that's um, that's life-enhancing, that's uh, you know growthful and uh, and <laughs> rewarding. Mm. And life-enhancing and growthful. And rewarding. Mm. And when life enhancing, growthful, and rewarding, then what happens? Well, then more stuff. There's more. More stuff happens. <laughs> that's, that's the joy of it, in a sense. You know that um, you work with issues and uh, you find. Find new ways of being and new new solutions that you didn't know were possible, and there's a kind of celebration of that. And then there's more. There's always something else that happens, or somewhere else to go, or a whole new landscape of possibilities that's opened up. All of which are still full of life's challenges, and, um, and you know, there's more growing and exploring and seeking out to be done, which is a wonderful thing. Mm. 